Hey everyone, good news. I'm back for the Cambridge Nationals Creative Line Media, the R082 Creative Digital Graphics Unit. It's our last lesson for this particular task, and by the end of this uh, session, you should have enough to have completed LOS 2, 3, and 4 of this particular project. Um, so today we'll be looking at the uh, review that goes at the end. Okay, so by the end of this video, we're going to understand what a review is. Uh, and identify some future areas for development. Um, the review is something that some students find particularly challenging. Um, it shouldn't be. It's a nice simple task, um, but you can go off on a very much tangent and, and that can sometimes lead you a bit of astray. Um, so the task is to produce a, um, a review for the graphic that hopefully you've already made in LO3. So take a look at my Photoshop videos for those ones. The uh, graphic should have been Daring to Dream in the story at the World Cup. It should have uh, a certificate U, it should have a front and back cover, a spine, it should be these measurements. You should have two versions of this by now, a high quality file and a low quality file. The low quality one must be 500 pixels high. You must have exported both of your graphics. Uh, you must have that saved in an appropriate file name, folder, along with all your assets and an assets table. So there's quite a lot that needs to be done. In this review, we understand how well uh, that project went. So, what a review is and isn't is an important thing to understand first. The review is not about you. It's not how well you have completed the task. Um, again, let's take this back to what we're doing this is a vocational course you are an employee in a marketing media company you have come up with this concept uh, what we don't care about is how well you have completed your job after all we're here for the client and it is the client's request to make this graphic so we need to work out does this graphic meet the requirements of our client and if it does then by default you've done a good job and if it doesn't then by default you've not done a good job there is no requirements here that you do a good job by the way in this review this is where you get actually to explain your choices and you can justify why you made things a certain way and an examiner will potentially will a moderator sorry will read this will take a look at what you've done and at least have an understanding of why you why you put things the way you did okay so it's a it's a nice safety net for some people i've put a copy of the graphic that i made originally up here so you can see what it is that i've uh, that i'm talking about so for task four now that the graphic has been produced you need to consider whether you've met all the requirements for the brief okay you also need to review the overall quality of the graphic and identify any improvements so there's three important sections there and you really should start to structure your page using those three sections now i'm not going to need to list them because they are on the brief and they will always be on the brief for every single one of your units every one of the units has a task for lo4 that does pretty much this exact same thing so i would potentially start with did i meet the requirements of the brief what is the overall quality and finish with identifying any improvements well what first of all were the requirements of the brief well we did that way back in our first video lesson one i went through this document here and i highlighted some of the things that i thought were requirements set to me by the exam board or well, by my client okay and it's up to you to work out what those requirements were and if you met them now we're not going to get a huge amount of marks if we show a limited understanding so a limited understanding in this case might be i met all the requirements and that's it with no further understanding okay there's a limited understanding of what worked and what did not uh, work make a few references back to the brief so instantly I'm getting one or two marks when there is potentially five six marks available so what does it mean by with references back to the brief well it's asking you to quote this and specifically the document you created in that first task together it's asking you to quote the idea that we had to have a title now did you put this exact title the exact way it's phrased in your document if you did congratulations you met one of the requirements of the brief and if you didn't 
you didn't meet one of the requirements of the brief. There is a requirement for the measurements and for the low resolution version. Did you do all of those? If yes, then you met the requirements of the brief. Congratulations, well done. And if you didn't, well, you didn't meet the requirements of the brief. Okay, the England women's football team and their journey in the recent World Cup. Is it obvious to anyone looking at your DVD cover, your Blu-ray cover, that it is women's football and the World Cup? Well, let's take a look at mine. If you saw that graphic, would anybody look at that and think that's potentially the men's football team? No? Okay, that's good. I've definitely highlighted women's football. Is there anyone there that would think that was a sport that's not football? No, I'd hope that you'd point out the fact that there is a nice clear football in there, even if you've not heard of, of this particular tournament. Now, when you see this trophy here and logos that look like this one here, is anyone here thinking that this is something other than a World Cup? Even if you hadn't seen the World Cup, or seen the trophy, or seen that logo, the constant mention of the world, world, the word World Cup, along with trophies and logos, a big football, football here, these are all things here that are subtly, in some ways, communicating requirements of the brief that I have put Daring to Dream, England's story at the World Cup, England women's football team, World Cup, okay? These are all requirements that I'm not specifically maybe screaming out that this is correct, but by people looking at the graphic, they can see that I've met it. And in order to get the five, six marks for this one here, I need to claim ownership of that. I need to say, well, yes, I have met the requirements. It is about the England Women's Football Team. I have done this by including several different images of England football players in various different poses. I've got an action shot of one of the players actually kicking a football to make it really clear that this is not the England women's rugby team or cricket team, for instance, okay? The fact that I've got uh, lots of images of the team together, um, I've got images of the trophy for those people who do know about it. Now, some of this is gonna be about the target audience as well. Now, I've not really been specific about who my target audience was. I'm very much aiming this at a group of people who know about women's football. Okay, so I'm naming this at people who are fans of the team, who are fans of the sport, who potentially would know who this person is. Okay, and the idea is that hopefully they would see this person front and centre, and that would really scream to them, yes, this is what I want to see. I remember when she was in the World Cup, I remember that on that particular match she did this, I'm going to watch this game, I'm going to buy this Blu-ray to remember it, okay? I'm aiming it at fans because in one of the things I'm putting here, I've got seeing behind the scenes at England Training Camp, you know, fans of the sport would very much like to see behind the scenes of their stars, that, that, that you know, who they're, who they're big fans of, so that way you can see what's going on, okay? This is aiming at that particular group, okay? Other requirements, width, height, and measurements, well, Take my word for it that I did it right, but in the real coursework submission, the way that that is assessed is by looking at the graphics that have been produced. Now, you shouldn't be submitting Photoshop files or graphic files like that. Okay, um, If they're bespoke files made by a graphic piece of software, then that's not going to work. You're only going to get marks for choosing to export these images as a a uh, particular file type, a file type that you've chosen in LO1, for instance, okay? So that could be bitmap, it could be a JPEG, could be a PNG, could be a TIFF, could be a GIF, could be any number of different graphic uh, files. And in LO1, you would have justified it. And an examiner would look at the file that you have exported and see if that works. If you have exported it, and if the exported one uh, graphic file properties match these requirements, then you, then you get that. And in your review, you're going to claim it, saying, I was chosen to do this graphic, it needed to be this size, it needs to have this sort of requirements, and look, I've achieved that, okay? So I'm meeting these requirements. It needs to have a use certificate. Well, not only did I put a use certificate I've put it three times, although that graphic's got a little bit dark for some reason. It's, oh, that's where I've copied it from the other one. The other two are definitely the right color and shape and size. But I've got them there, and I've got them in the legal responsibility areas, okay, where I've got them front, back, and on the spine. So not only have I met uh, the requirement to make it a use certificate, I've also harked back to the legal responsibilities from LO2, 
where I had to talk about, you know, deputation and copyright, but also the fact that this is a commercial product. I do need to have those use certificates on the graphic. So let's move on to identifying how my graphic could be improved. Well, some of this is definitely going to come down to my own Photoshop ability, but I would suggest that every single time you think about this, you're always pushing it back to that brief. Now, I don't think I'm too bad at Photoshop. I think I'm good enough for, for most of what I'm doing there. But even I'm spotting little small mistakes on this, which, which are already starting to annoy me a little bit. And when I think about how the graphic could be improved, okay, looking at the overall quality, there are some bits there that I think you know, aren't as good. For instance, the graphics that I've chosen, some of which weren't quite as high quality as I wanted them. And especially this front cover page here, the this was definitely the image I wanted. I, I really liked the, the action in this shot, the fact they had the football in shot. It was it, it looked like a really powerful image to me, but it wasn't quite the high resolution that I wanted. So how could this graphic be uh, graphic be improved? Partly it's the choice of images. Now that is my fault, but it's my fault and it's to do with the brief. Okay. This is a commercial product and I was not provided with any graphics. Okay, this was not the FA did not provide me with any graphics to use in this. Not expected at this point. This is a idea of what it could look like. But one uh, identifying ways in describing areas of further development is that I would take this design back to the company that has commissioned me. I would say this is what I'm expecting. Uh, these are all copyrighted images that I've taken from other websites. But I'm assuming that the client is asked for this has got the rights to show these films, these uh, matches, these football players, and that they would have their own personalized, high quality images that I could use, that they would own copyright for. And for that, I would then ask to see one which was of a similar styling to this, uh, but, you know, was was higher quality uh, images there. You can see where I've been quite shoddy with cutting out. There's a little bit of green from the grass around her knee. And this is nitpicking a bit, you know, it's where I've not really cut out as quite as well as I should have done. OK, so overall quality, I think I did a good job. I think I did a great job, but there are things that can be improved, can be tweaked, can be changed. Reviewing areas, uh, review identifies areas of improvement and future development of the final graphic, which are wholly appropriate and justified. Okay, it is appropriate to ask my client, well, I don't own the rights to the Women's World Cup. Do you? And if you do, can I have those images and can I use them in my graphic? Okay, now that's going to be very different depending on what you've chosen to do. But think about taking a look at it and going, is there anything there where you think, oh, you know what, this isn't quite how it wanted to be? Or I was thinking about doing this, but um, but I, it was I wasn't able to do that for some reason. If that's something that you can justify, you're going to get uh, high marks for this one. Okay, so there is six marks available. Those six marks are quite nice to have, uh, so it's worth putting some effort into it. And a good review will probably have about a page of text on like a word document file okay really make sure that you're you're claiming as much of the points as you can okay if you've not demonstrated a thorough understanding of the brief then you're automatically throwing away potentially four or five marks by the end of this uh week's work i would like to see you complete a review of this of your graphic i would like that review for my students to be submitted on show my homework for anyone else on the internet, please talk to your teacher who will show you how they would like their work submitted. Thank you very much, and I will see you on the next unit. Goodbye.